my friends. We're back in the kitchen here today in Savannah, Georgia. I'm Paula Dean, and I hope that you have enjoyed uh, my little cooking shows on YouTube uh, since the quarantine started. I wanted to find a way to uh, just come in and spend a few minutes with y'all and hopefully forget all about the problems just for a short while. So uh, I was saying earlier, we're gonna have to change the name from quarantine cooking to something else. Right, have y'all got any ideas, Teresa, Eddie? <laughs> I'm hoping people will send some ideas. Okay, good, that's what I'm hoping too, that y'all will send some ideas. Uh, you know, I have asked people out there if they had a favorite recipe to send it to me and uh, I would share it with everybody if they were one of those kind of people that like to share. Uh, I have gotten so many sweet, sweet letters and so many recipes for me to try. Well, the recipe that we're gonna do today is, it's another super simple. And there's a good chance that you might have everything in your house that uh, is required for this recipe. And the name of this recipe is pineapple pudding. So I'm assuming that this was not a side dish, but a dessert piece because it sounds like vanilla ice cream might be real good. Might taste like a pineapple sundae, you know, if you had some ice cream on it. But Lindsay Pirelli sent me this, and Eddie, go ahead and make fun of me I'm right now. Make fun of you. He <laughs> makes fun of me uh, when I say some words, and Boston, Massachusetts is one of them that he makes fun of. How am I supposed to say it? You said it. You said it right. I did say it right. Massachusetts. Nope, that you said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always said Massachusetts. There's a, yeah, there's an, you're putting the T in the Is wrong. Is that right or wrong? You're putting the T in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> say it one more time. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yep, there you go. See, I don't see no C-H-E-W in there anywhere. Chew. Well, there's no W, but Chew. there's a C. There's C and an H. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, to me, Massachusetts. Chew I'd wind up saying something ugly. <laughs> <laughs> trying to pronounce it. <laughs> but anyway. Let's just go with Boston. Thank Boston. What a great town, city that is. Um, Lindsay Pirelli uh, lives there in that town in Boston. <laughs> And she sent me this pineapple pudding, and this is an old family recipe. She said, as long as she can remember, this is one of the uh, dishes that was on the counter or on the table. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Lindsay, for sharing it with me and all of our friends out there. Uh, you know, I really can't appreciate a quick, quick, easy dish, you know, that I can do in emergency. When I'm in an emergency. All right, so it's four eggs. Is that a stick of melted butter? Yes, ma'am. Okie doke, I thought it looked like a whole stick. Eddie, could you hand me that spatula right there, that little, yeah, yeah, thank you. This is an old one that says, hey y'all, I love those little narrow ones. I can get it down in my jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> get every drop out. All right, cup of sugar. Oh, uh, so I'm gonna beat this up. You know what, Eddie, somebody just sent me. That whisk, yeah. Yes. Right there. Oh, it's right here. The Danish whisk. It's a Danish whisk. And someone sent this to me because they've seen me, you know, getting a regular whisk all gummed up, you know, if you're doing something thick. And I don't have the name of the person on my tongue right this minute that sent this. So, didn't I write it down? Uh, I, we I, did it. We did a little video last week. Oh, on we it. did? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I've, I've already thanked you, but I'm going to thank you again. <laughs> So let's see how it works. This will be the first time I've ever used a Danish whisk. 
Gosh, that works pretty good, y'all. You know, where it would really tell how good it is, is if you were mixing up flour, mm -hmm. something real stiff. Boy, Heidi, this would do the trick. Mm -hmm. Look, it's even got that little tiny hole right there that can beat up little things. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, 20 ounces of crushed canned pineapple. And uh, Lindsay didn't say whether or not to drain it. So if it doesn't say drain, I don't drain. This is a great, this is a great, yes. All right, so I have prepared a dish. Now, Lindsay says she uses a nine by nine, but she said a, nine, a 13 by nine will work also. Now I've sprayed this so it'll be nonstick, and she said to use a whole, the whole thing, the whole loaf of French bread. Italian. Italian bread. Was that? Yeah, one loaf of Italian bread broken into pieces. Use the whole loaf, she says. So I'm gonna have to kind of mash to fit, to fit in here. I'm thinking the 13 by nine by two pan. Well, made. she puts a little note on there, so. Yeah, she said you can use a 13 by nine by two. I don't. It, it must soak down once you well, put all Well, yeah, I mean, you know it's gonna soak it up, but That's is this lot, gonna fit? I think we need to switch over to a nine by 13. So y'all hold on, go into the pantry. <laughs> okay, Lindsay said, if you don't wanna use a nine by nine, you can use a 13 by nine. Well, I'm telling you, I just don't think this nine by nine is gonna hold all this stuff. So I ran to the dish pantry and I got, that don't smell good, does it? <laughs> when it gets up your nose. All right. I think Lindsay said she was a school teacher in Boston. Oh, is she? So hopefully the start of her year is going well. Oh gosh, have they have they gone back to school in Boston or are they I'm all not, virtual I'm right now, sure. Eddie? Lots of schools are different. Oh, well, all you teachers out there, Lindsay, y'all deserve a big old pat on your back because that was such a humongous change in our life. So I hope all is well. And I hope that you're still doing what you love to do, and that's teach. Like you're teaching me today to make this pineapple pudding. <laughs> Needless to say, Dad, gum it, get back up in there. You know, I take these apart, you know, to wash them. And so once you take them apart, they, they come apart. They come apart. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure I spread this out to cover all of our Italian bread. You know, so it can all soak in. Like I said, I'm gonna make sure every drop can get down in there and do what it's supposed to do to that Italian bread. <laughs> it looks delicious, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, what you think so far, Lindsay? <laughs> Are we doing good, girl? Okay, so she tells us to slip this into a preheated oven. And she says, uh, bake it in, in a 400 degree oven. Uh, pour the mixture up and bake until bubbly and golden brown on top, about 30 to 40 minutes. She said, enjoy warm or chilled. 
So 30 to 40 minutes. Which oven do you want me to put this to in? To the left hand this? side, please. Over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one was set at 400, so we are ready to go. And I'm gonna set the timer. I have the timer. Okay, 30 minutes, Therese. Yep, yeah, let's start there. Yeah. So, you're gonna be amazed at how quick that 30 minutes goes by. I told y'all it'd be a quick 30 or 40 minutes on that uh, pineapple pudding, didn't I? Well, it's ready. And it looks delicious. Ooh, it's getting nice and toasty brown, just like Lindsay said it would. Ow! <laughs> Doesn't that look good? Yeah. I want just a little teeny taste. Whoa. I could hear it sizzling. I know it. It will burn your mouth up. Mm. This calls for ice cream, y'all. Definitely. <sighs> Definitely ice cream or fresh whipped cream. Look at the steam coming up. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? It almost looks like cream corn, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's not. I'm scared. And it kind of uh, smells like fresh bread has just been mm -hmm. baked with that Italian Come get bread. your spoon. Come get your spoon, Teresa. It's good. What, you want me to burn my mouth with you? No, please blow on it before you pop it in your mouth. It's... It's not real sweet. I love that. So, to me, when something is not too sweet, it screams for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and that ice cream is going to marry perfectly with that. My spoon is even piping hot from dipping it. It's good, though. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. I would tell you though, the only other thing mm -hmm. I would say is if, like we talked about in one of our little breaks, mm -hmm. it could probably go bigger than a nine by nine, but smaller than a nine by 13 and it would be a mm -hmm. little bit juicier. You like it like I don't know. I think this size was perfect. absolutely perfect for it. It reminds me of my pineapple recipe, uh, pineapple casserole oh recipe God. that I love to serve with ham. Have we it's just that? real, real good. I yeah, I think have. we made it. No, we made it for one of our TV shows that we did, but I don't think we've made it yet for this. So we might have to pull that out. And you can see how kind of this kind of dry, you know, because it wasn't much liquid in it. So again, that ice cream. <laughs> I'm, I have been on an ice cream cook kick. kick since we have been quarantined every night. Every night I have ice cream. Uh, Lindsay, you did good. Yes, she did. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing something that means a lot to your family. And um, I appreciate it. That's going to mean a lot to many more families out there. And um, I wanted to say something else. Oh, this, because it's not real, real sweet, this also would be good served with ham, with a baked ham. Oh, yeah. As a side. Thank you, Lindsay. Mmm, I got that crunchy bread. Loving best dishes to all y'all out there. If you've got a recipe to share, send it to me. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Loving best dishes, y'all.